What is DeFi? Hello, welcome to the Soldex Academy. Today, we're going to discuss what is DeFi. So, you must have heard about DeFi, right? So many DeFi applications are currently trending and taking over the market. For example, Soldex is a decentralized exchange built on the Solana blockchain. In this video, we'll talk about DeFi in simple terms that you'll easily understand. DeFi is short for decentralized finance. It's a term used to encompass different blockchain-based applications, smart contracts, and digital assets that eliminate the need for centralized financial intermediaries, making transactions trustless, permissionless, cheap, and faster. Before going into details about DeFi applications, let's compare the differences between DeFi and CeFi, and that is centralized finance. DeFi is built on the blockchain. CeFi is built on old traditional foundations. DeFi permissionless, CeFi permission. DeFi can't be censored by government, CeFi can be censored. DeFi is cheaper, CeFi is more expensive. DeFi open, the users make the decisions. CeFi closed, decisions are made behind closed doors. With DeFi, security relies on technology. With CeFi, the company is responsible for security. DeFi, you have authority over your funds. CeFi, your funds are outside your custody. DeFi is trustless because they're just codes written on a smart contract. With CeFi, you must trust the institution. Now that we know the differences between DeFi and CeFi, let's explore the different DeFi applications. DeFi is built on three pillars, blockchain technology, smart contracts, and cryptography. Check out our simple videos on these topics to better understand what they are. The most important applications of DeFi are stablecoins, decentralized exchanges or DEXs, margin trading, lending and borrowing, insurance, derivatives. Now, let's explore these applications one after the other. Stablecoins. Stablecoins can be seen as the bridge between DeFi and CeFi. With smart contracts, we can create stablecoins that are pegged to real-world currencies like US dollars. This means that the value of the coins is tied to the US dollar. Examples are DAI, USDC, and Tether. Stablecoins are useful in decentralized exchanges as they enable users to simply trade their assets for the dollar-pegged stablecoin in the DEX instead of selling their assets on a centralized exchange like Binance. This is because when coins are traded on centralized exchanges, you must pay trading fees and also pay taxes to the IRS on profits made. But using stable coins to trade assets on a DEX, you can trade instantly with a less than 0.5% trading fee and no taxes at all. Decentralized Exchanges Decentralized exchanges, or DEXs, are another important application of DeFi that eliminates CeFi. DEXs allow users to exchange crypto assets in a decentralized, trustless, and permissionless way. Unlike centralized exchanges where users must give up custody of their assets before trading them, on DEXs, users can trade their assets without giving up custody of those assets. Also, DEXs can't be censored by the government, unlike centralized exchanges that can be censored any time. On DEXs, liquidity needed for users to trade assets is also provided by the users. An example of a DEX is Soldex, a decentralized platform that bridges new and experienced traders via AI trading bot implementation. Margin Trading Margin trading is simply the practice of using borrowed funds to increase your position on certain assets. In traditional institutions, trading margins are pretty tricky. The reasons are, one, you need a lot of money, two, you must undergo KYC, three, trading fees are very high. However, in DeFi, margin trading is open to anyone. You can trade in a permissionless way with any amount of money. Margin trading on DeFi is quicker, safer, and requires very little transaction fees. DYDX is a very popular DeFi app used for margin trading, lending, and borrowing. In DeFi, you can easily lend and borrow digital assets in a permissionless way without the risk of losing your funds. A popular app used in lending and borrowing is MakerDAO. On MakerDAO, you can lock in collateral such as ETH and borrow stablecoins like DAI. Compound is another well-known DeFi lending and borrowing project. Compound allows users to lock in their collateral or assets and start generating interest. 
Users can also borrow other assets against their locked assets. Insurance In DeFi, insurance companies are replaced by codes written on smart contracts. Instead of relying on traditional finance companies for insurance, users can sign smart contracts and deposit a certain amount of money to start the contract. And any time that the insurance conditions are met, the user will be paid immediately. A popular DeFi insurance project is open. Derivatives Derivatives are contracts that are pegged to an underlying asset. It could be an asset like gold or stocks. In DeFi, derivatives are based on the blockchain, and they are called synthetic assets, or synths. Synthetic are tokens pegged to an underlying asset like precious metals, stocks, bonds, commodities, etc. Popular synthetic asset exchanges include Synthetix and Mirror. Now that you know what DeFi is, kindly subscribe and check out our other videos where we explain crypto terms in a simple and easily understandable manner. To learn more about cryptocurrency and keep updated with blockchain technology, subscribe to Soldex Academy and check out our other crypto videos explaining technical crypto concepts in easily understandable terms.